Agnew e poi vice Thank you. Agnew and then the vice president. Thank, thank, thank you very much, Chairman. I am going to repeat one or two of the things I said before because I think it's important that I do. I feel that this subject is being approached in entirely the wrong way. There is a perception that if the European Parliament passes a law to reduce journey times for slaughter animals, that their welfare will automatically improve as a result. Now, standing in a lorry is in itself not a hardship for animals used to all weathers and terrains. And I'm just going to tell you a quick story about a farmer whose animal went missing, a bullock. He couldn't find it. He assumed it had been stolen. Months later, not days, not weeks, his employees found this animal wedged between two straw bales, forced to stand. It was alive and it recovered under veterinary supervision. These are tough creatures. However, the journey is made easier for these animals if they are not full of food and water when they, when they are loaded, because this forces them into the rumination process, and I make no apology again for saying that involves regurgitation, flatulation, urination and defecation. That is what they have to do if you fill them food, full of food and water. Now, loading weak animals, very heavily pregnant animals, unevenly sized animals in the same compartments, animals with horns mixed with polled animals, plus, of course, straightforward overcrowding, these are the real welfare issues during transport. And it's not necessary to stop lorries on the road to check this. The inspectors can be present at markets and abattoirs where these animals are unloaded, and there's just nowhere to hide if you've got it wrong. In the UK, we have a government agency called the Trading Standards and also a voluntary organisation called the RSPCA that monitor animal welfare across the country. And it's a mark of great shame to a British farmer if he falls foul of either of these two organisations to the extent that a pig farmer only 30 miles away from me and less than six months ago committed suicide when a film was released of one of his employees abusing a pig. The media in the UK ranked cruelty to animals right up there with sadistic murder and brutal rape. It is fear of public condemnation that keeps most farmers the right side of the line in my country. Now, this subject will presumably come to a plenary session, where I note that 54 Spanish MEPs have the right to vote. Spain is a country where bull baiting for public entertainment is tolerated, which includes the use of horses as targets for the bull. I object in the strongest possible terms to representatives of that country legislating on animal welfare issues over UK farmers. We do not need more laws. What we need is proper enforcement of existing laws. Thank you.